Alibi video. Welcome to Televite's video series on 10-base T1L physical layer testing. This video provides an example of using Televite's Layer 1 testing products to switch one SPE power switch port to 32 powered SPE devices. The example will show this being done over one emulated single pair at various line lengths. This setup is suitable for automated interoperability testing of field-powered devices. The user will be able to access this setup from the lab network and target the desired power devices or powered switch port. Let's get started. What equipment will we need? Let's begin with the Televite 4950 10-base T1L cable emulator. This product is designed for testing single pair ethernet and emulates one single twisted pair. Emulation includes modes 1.0 volts peak to peak or 2.4 volts peak to peak standard space cable models in a variety of line lengths as shown here. Our example today will emulate the ethernet APL spur worst case cable model at 200 meters. Features include a full duplex link that supports power and communications over the same data line, differential return loss, link delay, and DC resistance, an integrated SCCP protocol analyzer, integrated noise injector, current voltage monitor. It emulates a bad connection of one or two wires at a terminal block connection, supports testing per IEEE 802.3 CG 10-base T1L SPE with Poodle, and offers support for Ethernet APL testing. What else do we need? The Televite 600SM 1x1x32 switching matrix module provides one 1x32 switching matrix. This device has one input that is switched to any one of 32 outputs. Our example will require one module for switching on one side of the single pair. This high performance switch automates testing of single pair ethernet. It supports Poodle and can be used to access the test bed from the lab network. While there are a variety of switching matrices in this product line, we will use the 1 by 32 switching modules for our example. The 600 SM 1 by 1 by 32 is installed in the 600 6SL chassis. This chassis accepts up to six of these matrix modules. Here you see views of the front and the back. We will be using one module for our example. The 600 switching modules utilize a Siemen Cat7 Terra connector that accepts four twisted pairs. Our example shows that each cable has one Cat7 Terra connector on the 600 switch side and four SPE pairs on the other connected to a 32 port SPE patch panel. Televite offers custom cabling to meet your needs. What else do we need? On the power source testbed side, we have an Ethernet APL power switch where port one of eight is being used. On the power load testbed side, we have 32 SPE powered devices. In the middle, we have the model 4950 emulating the SPE pair at 200 meters. Let's make our connections. Port one of the power switch is connected to the front of the model 4950 cable emulator. That is in turn connected to the back of the 600 switching matrix module. Eight cables connect the front of the module to a custom 32 port SPE patch panel. That in turn is connected to the powered devices. 
Let's take a more detailed look. Here's our example. The signal from the Ethernet APL power switch, port 1, travels through the 4950 emulator, which is set to 200 meters. It then travels to the back of the 600 switch and can be switched to any one of 32 powered devices. Here we see it being switched first to channel 1 and then the powered device 1, and then to channel 13 and powered device 13. Remote commands can be used for remote access to the test setup. This example uses Telebyte's 4950 10 base T1L cable emulator for remote control of SPE pair lengths. From the lab network, a remote user can control power switches, set line lengths for an SPE pair, and target devices for switching. Here's an example of a command that can be used to control the 600 SM 1x1x32 switch. The command is setting the association of output A to input path 20 for the switching matrix module located in slot 1 of the chassis. The 600 switching modules can also be controlled via a web browser. Thank you for watching our video. There are many more configurations possible, including the addition of noise generation and digital analysis. We would love to hear from you and learn more about your requirements. You can contact us at sales at telebytespe.com or on the web at telebytespe.com.